Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Escape of Tarkov. From Tarkov, sorry. Uh, a couple of different options that we have. We're going to modify some stuff in Windows. We're going to change some parameter inside of the game. And we will change some stuff in the config file. So let's start with Windows. First of all, in the search, you should write mode and open your game mode. Make sure your game mode is at off. It's causing a lot of issue. Uh, right now with Escape from Tarkov, probably because they didn't optimize it for the game mode of Windows. So make sure this one is at off, really important. Second thing, where uh, you install the game, so me, I install it in a D drive called Tarkov. Go in your execute file, so the biggest file here, as you can see with the logo. Right click on it, click properties, compatibility. Change IDPI setting and make sure override IDPI is checked on. Right now it's in gray because my game is open, but make sure this is checked. Press OK and press OK again. So that's about it for this. After that, we're going to go inside of the game. Graphic. So this is pretty much the parameter that I'm currently using for my computer. I'm playing full HD. I don't use the V-Sync, really important. And play this game in full screen. You will see that your uh, FPS will be a lot more stable. Uh, also, after all the change that I, sh I will show you, if you still don't get whatever FPS you need, uh, you will for sure need to lower your resolution here. So let's start with texture quality. I'm playing at I have 8 gig of VRAM, so for me, not very important. Uh, but important thing to mention, at I, this game is taking 4.8 gig of uh, VRAM, so that's a lot. So even if you have a 4 gig VRAM card and you think, oh, I can put this at I, don't play at I, you will have like some crazy stutter. Make sure that you're playing at medium. And if you have something like 2 gig or even 3, don't, don't even test the medium. Just go at low and it will be better for you. After that, really important part, shadow quality. Put this one at low and the uh, shadow visibility here, put it at the minimum. You will gain like 10 to 12% of uh, in, uh, FPS increase. So that's pretty huge in this game. So remove those shadow. Object lock quality, this one also big impact. Put it at minimum. Overall visibility, I'm playing at 1000, um, again, you will have a big impact uh, with the overall uh, visibility. Uh, a lot of people are uh, testing 1500 and they're saying it's almost like 1000, but uh, I'm getting more stable FPS with 1000, so I'm playing this one at 1000. Um, ambient inclusion, all those stuff, if SSR, put all those at off and make sure you uncheck everything here. Chromatic aberration, noise, Z blur, etc. Uh, you will gain more FPS when you remove everything. Th this one is really important, the SSR. I was losing like 10 FPS when uh, it's at on, so make sure that you remove this. Anti-aliasing, a lot of people are saying just remove it. Honestly, in this game, I feel like you need some, so I'm playing with FXAA, the minimum anti-aliasing. Because sometimes, you know, a line are breaking and you're not even sure, is it someone who just passed in front of me or it was uh, anti-aliasing? So I'm just putting at FXAA and it's doing the job. Uh, after that, sharpness of your image, I'm putting at 4.5. This is preference, it doesn't change anything on your FPS. So you should maybe test it if you like the sharpness or not. And uh, for the FPS, I'm just putting everything at the maximum. After that, um, go in your document. So, um, document, Escape of Tarkov. This is the place that they save your config file. And open the local one. So this is pretty much all the setting that you currently have in your game. But they have more setting that you can change here. So first of all, HDR. Make sure this one is at zero. Me, it was at on, at one, and I was losing like four to five FPS because I was at our HDR was at on, and I don't even have an HDR screen, so make sure this one is at e zero. And same thing with Bloom, put this one at zero. After that, save. And if you want to force the file to because the game can like override your file, just go to properties and make sure that you put the game in read only, and you will be all set. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU and RAM, I will end your question, I will try to help you the best that I can, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, peace everyone!